I got to mention, this is a five minute mic, I'll light you in the back that when you have one minute left, and if I start walking to the stage, uh, that means your time's up. But you don't have a good job. What? what are, uh, am I wrong about that? Oh, that was good. I don't think that's how this works. <laughs> and if I don't know, you introduce yourself to me so that I can put a face to the name on the list. All right, coming up next, everyone. Very funny. I like seeing this person a lot. Give it up for Linda Marcus Smith. Hey guys, what's up? Hey, Linda. So everything you say on stage nowadays has to be a hundred percent politically correct, right? Pretty much, right? Yeah. yeah. So good night. <laughs> I'm old, so we never go away. We always have more to say. <laughs> now I have this notes because of this. I call it occasional oopsies. We all forget, right? Mm -hmm. Audience participation. Thank you. We all forget, but you know what you hear after you forget about three thousand times in a row? You get a on the door, and they're like, "Give me your guns." We don't want you having a gun if you can't remember. So, there goes my gun privileges. I thought I had privileges. One of these days, I'm sure they're going to knock on my door and go, you know the pack of crayons from first grade? Give them back. <laughs> but I'm not really complaining because once every four years, I get to go and pick a president. Even if I don't know what a box is or a check mark, it's like, whatever, you can't ruin that system. <laughs> Talking through punchlines, that's my specialty. Um, so, I wonder what the hell I meant when I wrote this. <laughs> What's it say? S T C O N F. Uh, wait, I was born and raised in a state of confusion. I mean, Oregon. There goes the oopsies. <laughs> it's very confusing to be from Oregon because in school, you know, like if you grew up here, you know they teach you to be so proud of what you grew up around. Like, but you know, things that happened in Oregon were great, like Sacagawea, Lewis and Clark. But things that came out of Oregon, not so much. Let me point out: we had Jane Powell in the fifties and sixties doing bra commercials. Woo! Then we had Sally Struthers in her one-hit wonder tele television show, All in the Family. Fast forward, and then what do we got? Tanya Harding? Are you kidding me? But at least she coined the phrase, take a knee before the NFL. <laughs> so not only was she a knee breaker, she was a ground breaker, right? <laughs> so, um, uh, I have all kind of issues growing up here. Like, for instance, when I was growing up, I was born a twin to a boy. So I have a twin other half. And even though comedically, you know, like he featured and I headlined, I came out last. He, you know, and he and I, I'm not complaining. It's just like you have to share everything. Birthdays, clothes, underwear. It was the 50s, guys. And uh, my mom, the weird thing is, is my mom should have got the attention, not us kids. Oh, you're twins. My mom should have got attention because, comedically speaking, I mean, she was the club owner and the maid, and she developed something that had 18 years worth of her own bringer. So I think my mother should have got the attention. Okay, so that's a definite maybe, not. <laughs> but um, the last thing I wanted to tell you is that... Um, uh, having memory issues today. So I had issues growing up, you know, like I didn't agree with the fact that they're lying to us, telling us it's really cool to be from Oregon. And I didn't like that I had to share things with tin, twin brother, but my mom didn't get anything. So I went to a therapist. And you'd think that she'd help me find my identity, right? But she started stealing it from me. I mean, I told her I had to share my life with a, my brother. She's like, yeah, we all have that. I told her, like, my parents were telling me my whole life I'm Jewish, and I found out I'm not. She's like, 
And it's a little difficult, but, you know, everybody's got that. Santa Claus, lies, Easter Bunny. So um, everything I told her, she took. So I took her husband. <laughs> From Portland, folks, circle back. We're passive aggressive here. I just thought about it. But I always love to leave you guys wanting more. So are you ready to be left wanting more? Yeah. Here's a pro tip. If you want people to keep wanting more from you, don't pay your bills. They'll call you and another pro tip. Let it go to voicemail. Let you can call your relatives. You don't have to. Thanks. Next up, I think nice. we have the Kelly's Olympian debut. Everyone, keep it going for the very funny Katie Lynch. Yes. 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 Yes.